Hi students, welcome to your next math lesson. Today we are looking at chapter 10, lesson four, multiplying whole numbers and fractions. Students will be able to multiply whole numbers and fractions. All right, so recall that earlier in the chapter, we looked at how to draw a bar diagram to find part of a whole. And then we estimated um, products of fractions and whole numbers and fractions and fractions. So we're going to use some of those ideas and skills to move in today to just learning the steps for multiplying fractions by whole numbers. All right, we're going to start off with 18 times 1 sixth. All right, now this looks like something that we did before in lesson one when we found part of a whole because we're taking 1 sixth, which is the part, and we're multiplying it by a whole 18. So if you needed to, you could draw a bar diagram for that problem. However, today I'm just going to show you how to multiply fractions and whole numbers using the steps. So first off, when we have a whole number such as 18, you need to remember that 18 can be written as a fraction. 18 is the same thing as 18 over one. Because remember, 18 over 1 is 18 divided by 1, because fractions mean division. So 18 divided by 1 equals 18. 18 over 1 is the same thing as 18. So whenever we have a whole number that we're multiplying by a fraction, we need to turn it into a fraction by making the denominator a 1. All right. Once you've done that, and I'm actually going to rewrite that so that everything lines up really nicely. So I have 18 over 1 times my 1 sixth. Okay? So when you multiply with fractions, it's a little easier than when we were adding and subtracting and there were unlike denominators. You don't have to worry about finding a common denominator when you're doing multiplication. What we want to do is multiply our numerators together. So we need to take 18 times 1. That's our first step. 18 times 1 equals 18. That's our numerator. And then we multiply our denominators. 1 times 6. And 1 times 6 equals 6. So we get 18 over 6. Now, of course, we want to make sure our answer is always in simplest form. Remember that fractions are division problems. So 18 over 6 is the same thing as saying 18 divided by 6. And 18 divided by 6 equals 3. So 18 times 1 sixth equals 3. We could also think of that as 1 sixth of 18 is 3. So let's recap what we did. First, I made my whole number look like a fraction by placing a 1 as the denominator. Then I multiply my numerators together. 18 times 1 equals 18. That's my numerator. Then I multiply my denominators together. 1 times 6 equals 6, and that's my denominator. I have the fraction 18 6, which can be simplified. Because all fractions can be written as division, 18 6 is really 18 divided by 6, and that equals 3. Let's try another one. Sometimes when you multiply whole numbers by fractions, you end up getting a whole number for your answer. Other times, you could get a fraction or a mixed number. Regardless, you should always make sure your answer is in simplest form. All right, let's try three-fifths times six. Now you could think of this as three-fifths of 6. Okay, 3 fifths of 6, part of a whole. 
my very first step is to make my whole number look like a fraction. So I'll rewrite this 3 fifths times 6 wholes is 6 over 1. So I took my whole number, kept it as my numerator, and then made a 1 for my denominator. All right, now I can multiply my two numerators. 3 times 6 equals 18. That's my numerator. Now, you don't have to write this step. I'm just writing that until everybody learns what to do. And then we multiply our denominators. 5 times 1, and that equals 5. So I have the fraction 18 fifths. That's improper. Let's see if we can write it as a mixed number. Remember, 18 fifths is really 18 divided by 5. So you can do your long division, or you can maybe do that mentally. If you're doing it mentally, 5, 10, 15. Oh, I can take three holes out which are 15, and 18 minus those 15 I just took out leaves me with 3, and I keep my denominator. So I have a product of 3 and 3 fifths. That's equal to these 18 fifths. So 3 fifths times 6 equals 3 and 3 fifths. Just to recap, first, I made my whole number 6 look like a fraction by putting a 1 as the denominator. And then I just multiply across. 3 times 6 equals 18. 5 times 1 equals 5. 18 fifths needs to get turned into a mixed number. 18 fifths is really 18 divided by 5. And I get 3 and 3 fifths. Now there is another way to simplify. And this might confuse some people. If it confuses you, you don't have to do this method. But I know some people do really like this method because it can save you from doing a lot more work. Okay? So for this method, I'm going to take uh, 3 fourths times 24. 3 fourths times 24. I'm going to start out with that very first same step. I need to make my whole number 24 look like a fraction. 3 fourths times 24 is my numerator and 1 would be the denominator because 24 over 1 is the same amount as 24. Now, when I look at what I'm multiplying for this problem, I have 3 times 24. That might not be mental math for a lot of people. Once you start having these larger numbers in your fractions, you might want to check to see if you can simplify your problem before you do your multiplication. Here's what I mean. Check your diagonals. Diagonals go like top corner over here to bottom corner over here and vice versa, diagonal, makes like an X. If you can simplify the numbers in your diagonal, go for it. And what that will do is that will make the multiplying easier and will give you an answer that's closer to being in simplest form. So I'm gonna check my diagonals, and this works for all multiplication. I see in this diagonal here a three and a one. Well, if I already have a one, I know it's as simple as I can make it. So if there's a 1 in your diagonal, you can't work on that diagonal. Let me check the other one. This diagonal has a 4 and 24. Hmm, let me think. Are 4 and 24 together in any times tables? The 2s and the 4s. So if you think of the greatest times table that they're both a part of, you can divide by that times table. So if I divide these both by 4, I can actually get smaller numbers in my fractions, and that will make it a little easier to do the multiplication. So let's think. 
4 divided by 4 gives me 1. 24 divided by 4 gives me 6. Well, that looks a lot nicer because now it's completely mental math and it'll actually give me my answer so much quicker. I'm going to multiply by going across now. Now that I've simplified out this diagonal, 3 times 6 equals 18, and 1 times 1 equals 1. 18 over 1 is 18. So 3 fourths times 24 equals 18. If I did not do that, so let's say I had my original amounts in here. Let's say that I had, I had my original amounts and I didn't simplify that way. I would have to take 24 times three. Let's see, you might have to work that out. Three times four equals 12. Three times two equals six plus one is seven. So three times 24 equals 72. That's the numerator for now. And four times one equals four. Then I would have to simplify that. 72 divi divided by four will give me 18. All right, you can do the long division for that. And get 18. So if you don't like doing that bigger multiplication and long division to simplify, you may want to try simplifying your problem like I showed you. All right, that's it for now. Catch me on our next video where we will learn how to multiply fractions by fractions. Bye for now.